How much do you love D&D? You've got all the books, you play every weekend, you've even got the board games, the video games, all this stuff. D&D is just always on your mind. But you're always thinking about it, you're always planning new sessions, you're always reading up on the latest lore and all this. You know what? You need to give your brain a break. You know, you need to stress, chill out. Don't worry, I got the, just the right thing for you. It's got a D&D coloring book. It's put out by Candlewick Press. This is one of the style of those adult coloring books that you've seen in a lot of craft stores and out and around in bookshelves where it's become a recent thing recently where people will get these coloring books and just color pens and just doodle and just let their brain kind of relax, chill. My wife does it. She loves it. It's a great way to just let the brain chill and just doing something that just eases stress, eases tension. But me personally, I've never really found one. I mean, there's plenty of geeky ones out there. I've seen Doctor Who, I've seen all these, but none of them have ever really fully appealed to me until I got sent this copy of this D&D &D Monsters and Heroes of the Realms color book. And I gotta say, kind of makes me want to color now. It, I mean, it's, it's all the great artwork of the past, you know, 30 plus years of D&D, &D, but trimmed of all the color and gives you the chance to just have a little freedom with it. And not only that, they've even got some sample artwork in here if you just need some inspiration on how to, I mean, you're never gonna get that great with a pen unless you're a professional artist, in which case ignore what I just said. But then there's all sorts of just things to give you inspiration. There's even just blank maps in here where it looks like your standard DM's guide thing where you can kind of doodle out your next dungeon. So maybe while you're giving your brain a break, your brain's at the background going, wait a minute, I really need to get that dungeon laid out for the next thing, but I'd like a little pizzazz in it as well. And it also gives you references. So if you're like, I really like that artwork page. I didn't know that was done in player the 2014 player's handbook, but I've got that right over there. I'm gonna check it out and look at it for myself. Or maybe I'll pick up a, another book or something. But like I said, there's plenty of different pages and plenty of different styles of, of different characters and races and creatures, all sorts of cool things in here. So if you say your wife or your husband or anyone has gotten into the coloring thing, or even you personally, you've gotten into the coloring thing, but you want to spice it up. You want something gamer related that to doodle on that get let your brain chill and ease back. Then I highly suggest you pick up one of these D and D monsters in the monsters of the realms coloring book. It's only fifteen dollars, which is the cheapest you're going to get for a D and D product, basically. But it's got pretty awesome stuff. And if it's something up your alley, why not? Now I'm going to say if you're not into this coloring thing at all. This is probably not for you. This is obviously not for you, but if you just, if it seems, it's one of those, if you seems like it's your thing, then you're gonna wanna check it out. So just letting you know, the D&D &D Monsters of the Realms coloring book, Monsters and Heroes of the Realms coloring book, I, it gets a pass for me. Like it does a great job of what it's trying to do is just put D&D &D in a coloring book. I mean, I enjoy it. If I hadn't been sent one, I'd probably go pick it up anyways. A, just because it has D&D &D on it and B, my wife's doing it all the time and it gives me something that I can do with her, but at the same time still be how I show off my nerdiness and my gamer, all my gamerness as well. So let me know what you think. Would you ever buy a D&D &D coloring book? What other, are you into the coloring book craze at all? Let me know down in the comments below if you're into this coloring book phase and what kind of books that you've managed to color into and uh, let me know what you guys are up to. So. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.